Hey YouTubers, this is your boy Amari Points here bringing you the latest movie review. Today I'm doing my newest movie review on the newest DC superhero movie, The Batman. And after seeing this today, uh, I saw this and let me tell you, I straight up loved it. This, sorry, this is definitely the Batman movie we all deserve. So it's basically kind of like somewhat an origin story of the Batman starting out. And I seriously loved how Robert Pattinson portrayed Batman in this movie. It's kind of like an origin story setting up the Batman and how he's starting out. And, and him solving the crew clues that Riddler, uh, that's played by Paul Duno, left for him. And... And once you see why he's doing the stuff he's doing, I can't go into spoilers, but this is a spoiler-free review, so you're safe. I'm not going to ruin it for anybody. But honestly, once you see why the Riddler is doing what he's doing, guys, you will not believe how shocked how shocked you're going to be. And let's, on, let's move on to the positives and negatives. First off are the positives. Robert Pattinson, again, as Batman, he legit fits this role. I see him as the perfect Batman. And love, and I love how he portrayed Bruce Wayne in so many ways. He, we all know him uh, uh, as Edward from the Twilight movies. I didn't see the Twilight movies, so don't be mad at me, guys. But now we're seeing him play... The iconic DC superhero that everyone knows and loves. I honestly love his take on the Batman. And kudos to you, Robert Pattinson, for portraying this fantastic DC icon. I, w I am just blown away of, at his performance and how he is legit portraying this famous DC character again. He is the Batman. I can say this. I cannot say this enough. He is definitely Batman. And I'm looking forward to seeing him come back. If they do get a sequel, I'm hoping he does come back. Another positive is like how how like it's kind of like a mystery crime solving movie. But again, it's Batman. He honestly is a great detective. And we all know him for that. And seeing him solve the cases that, you, as most of you guys seen in the trailer, Riddler left for him and everything. We get to see, we get to see like how he's solving the crews and riddles and everything. I'm looking forward to seeing what he does in this sequel. And once you figure out each clue in this movie, you'll you'll honestly be surprised. Again, I'm not spoiling it for you guys. Because, again, when you go in this movie, you will be shocked. And you will see every single thing that happens when he solves each clue. Because this is Riddler we're talking about. Played play by Paul Duno. Riddler, he just likes playing mind games with the Batman. As most of you know him for. As most of you know him for. And, like, famous DC comics and everything. You... Riddler is known for like his puzzles and a bunch of other things. And another positive is Zoe uh, uh, Kravitz as Catwoman. Me, wow. She is just, again, she, she is Catwoman. Honestly, I love the chemistry between her and between Zoe and Robert. Robert. They really do bounce off each other and we see them fight as a dynamic duo as most of you seen in like the comics sometimes batman works with catwoman and we see them just we see them just being themselves in everything i really 
I really love that about Zoe. Zoe is just a sweetheart. And she, and I can't think of anyone else to play Catwoman other than Zoe. Who knows, she might come back and we might see her, we might see her team up with Batman again. We don't know. And yeah, another, uh, another positive is, well, definitely the fantastic, uh, the epic battle scenes in this movie and much more and much more in this movie I was just I honestly no words can describe how great this was and seeing and seeing how this all unfolds it makes you want a sequel to this it really does Matt Reeves knew what he was doing when he made this Batman movie he really knew what was up and if we in if we get a sequel and he comes back as director as director for it, I'm gonna be shocked. I am gonna be full fully on board on what he's gonna do next. And on to the negatives. The one negative is uh Barry uh Kogan, I I'm sorry if I'm pronouncing his name wrong, his last name wrong. I apologize for that. We've seen him in the Eternals. We seen him in the Eternals, and he put and in this movie, I can't tell you what his character is, but you will be shocked at what his character, who he plays. You really will. I cannot spoil this, guys. But his character, I wish was I really wish uh, his character was in the movie more. That was the only negative I have. I honestly think his character could have been in this movie a whole lot more. Instead of just for one scene. That was the only problem I had. I can't tell you which scene it is, guys. Again, spoiler free. I, all I know is that be on the lookout for his character. That's all I can say. And you will see why I said what I said. And that's it for my positives and negatives, guys. On to my rant. This movie, this movie, The Batman, is everything a DC fan like myself can ask for. You will honestly be shocked at what you see on this on this big screen and seeing how like Bruce Wayne is just how solving the cases and so, and finding out what Riddler is doing everything. I I cannot uh, describe this enough. This was definitely worth seeing. I was honestly I was honestly thought this was going to be a bland movie. But DC really stepped up their game and delivered on this movie. They legit delivered. Kudos to DC for delivering on this. I am honestly ready to see what the future holds for Robert Pattinson's The Batman. And before anyone asks, no, this doesn't take place in uh, in uh, the DCEU with Henry Cavill, Superman, and the rest of the Justice League. It takes place in another universe. That is separate. That is separate from uh, their universe. So yes, it's completely different, and it's way darker. That a lot of people, are, a lot of people are going to be surprised on how dark it is. All I can say is that get yourself a movie ticket for this movie, and just kick back, relax, and see the mysteries and everything unfold. And again, Zoe uh, Kravitz as Catwoman. She is phenomenal. I I hope she does come back in the possible the Batman sequel. If we see her team up with uh, Robert Pattinson's Batman again, I'm really looking forward to it. I'm looking forward to it again. They those two have good chemistry, and uh, and also what else I can say is that uh, uh, Lieutenant Gordon before he became Commissioner Gordon, uh, he. Him and Batman have a really good friendship. You really could tell that they really are trying to be there for each other. <laughs> and let me tell you, they really do snap each other out, out of like any predicament that they're in. And just are really good detectives and good buddies. You can just tell by just uh, looking at them. And that's it for my rants. On to the rating. I give the Batman a solid A. It's a solid A. Because I enjoyed this movie so much. 
that honestly, it made me so hyped to get a sequel. I'm ready for a sequel to this movie. DC, please give us a sequel to this. Robert Pattinson as Batman again. He is the Batman. No one else can top him. Aside from Ben Affleck, he was kind of a good Batman. But Robert Pattinson blew the, hit this performance out the door. He honestly gave all the fans what they wanted. A darker, cooler Batman. And the rest of the cast themselves, they did fant a fantastic job at their roles. And honestly, if we again, if we get a sequel and we get these same characters to come back, I would be totally fine with it. I am looking forward to seeing what the future holds for for Robert Pattinson's Batman. I am so ready for it, for this to happen. I really am. And that's it for my movie review, guys. Don't forget to like. Comment down below on what you guys thought of the Batman. Subscribe and share with everyone you know. Press the little notification bell at the bottom of my video to get notified when my next movie review is going to be. I will see you guys soon. Take care and God bless. Peace.